So this is going to be probably the most hypocritical video I've ever posted, um, and it's me, the hypocrite here. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to kind of react to something that my friend and colleague with All American Pro Wrestling and from the Raptors Radio, Adam Testa, who writes a blog for the Baltimore Sun uh, called Ring Post. And uh, he recaps Raw and SmackDown and does pay per view previews and recaps as well. So check him out at the link here and, uh, you know, read some of his stuff because he does a really great job of kind of analyzing things and, and taking a look at it. And, you know, the comments that he made about Raw from. Uh, this past week with uh, John Cena versus Michael Cole at the end and whether or not Cena was bullying or he in his in his opinion Cena was being a bully uh, to Michael Cole and you know I don't totally agree and I don't totally disagree with what Adam said and this is where the hypocrite comes out in me. Um, Adam makes a very valid point that you know Michael Cole is a non-wrestler for the most part. My argument was that Cole has wrestled before was antagonizing John Cena throughout the show at the beginning of the show, calling him out. And Cole kind of, uh, I'm sorry, Cena came out there, uh, wrestled his match, and then did what the fans wanted to see, which was kind of beat him up a little bit, humiliate him. Um, you know, I know tearing his clothes off, pouring the barbecue sauce on him was all humiliation. And I agree. If that were done in a school setting, that would be an example of bullying. And I can't justify that thought. Adam is right in that regard. But for the world of wrestling where you kind of suspend your belief, obviously, it's good to see the bad guy kind of get his butt kicked every once in a while and get humiliated. And I know that's not right, and especially because of this whole Be A Star campaign. And I think that's probably where the big issue comes in. Be A Star in my opinion, it's the anti-bullying campaign, and in my opinion, Be A Star doesn't necessarily work in the world of professional wrestling because, you know, you've got these larger-than-life characters. This is all kind of planned out. We know it's choreographed. We know what's going to happen for the most part, or I should say they know what's going to be happening in the ring and storyline-wise. And so you've got guys who are not wrestlers who are getting beat up. You know, Ricardo Rodriguez, who for all intents and purposes, is not a wrestler. We know FCW, he does wrestle. He's wrestled a couple times uh, in the WWE, but he is an announcer for uh, Alberto Del Rio. We get that. We know that. So Santino picking on him, you know, is that is that a sign of bullying as well? John Laurinaitis getting beat up on by John Cena, getting picked on by CM Punk, getting beat up on by CM Punk. You know, are these uh, good guys bullying the bad guys because if it were the roles were reversed and if it were the big show beating up on Jim Ross or on Jerry Lawler who is technically a wrestler still but an announcer for the most part now you know where do you draw the line you know when Triple H beat up Jim Ross several years ago and bloodied him up and and whatnot you know fans were were outraged he beat him up and humiliated him and you could make the argument that Jim Ross didn't provoke that attack he was not uh, calling uh, Triple H out like Michael Cole did to John Cena. And again, it's a slippery slope. I understand Adam's point. I agree with it to an extent. Um, and I think that if this whole Be A Star campaign wasn't kind of being crammed down our throats, that this would not be as big an issue as it is. And it's not really an issue. Um, I, I would like to think that this is a healthy debate going on between two wrestling fans. We agree to disagree on something sometimes. And this is another case of that. And I, I am curious what you, the fans, think. You know, is this, uh, is this bullying what John Cena did to Michael Cole if the roles were reversed? And if it were, say, Lord Tensai beating up on Jim Ross you know, would that be a sign of bullying? I guess it would depend on the agitator, you know, if Michael, or I'm sorry, if Jim Ross uh, were the aggressor at the beginning, the verbal aggressor that should be, uh, you know, is that bullying? So uh, it's an interesting debate. It's an interesting conversation, and I'm looking for your feedback. So please weigh in here, and don't forget to subscribe to my one, two, three cents. <music>